Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Dashan Husseina Usman. For more news and current happenings, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Federal Capital Territory Administration says security will be beefed up in Abuja during Salah festivities to ensure people's safety. Permanent Secretary Olushade Adeshola said this during its monthly security meeting. Air tickets are completely booked as many travelers are set to travel for Salah holidays. Tickets to northern states from Abuja and Lagos go for as high as 98,000 Naira, yet not available for many who want to travel for Salah. A federal high court in Abuja has restrained Speaker and members of Zamfara State House of Assembly from impeaching the state deputy governor Mahadi Aliyu Gusau. Justice Obiora Egwatu gave the restraining order after a motion ex parte from the deputy governor. Many testing centers in the six states placed on red alert by the Presidential Steering Committee are shut amid fears of transmission of the Delta variant. The states include Lagos, Kano, Kaduna, Rivers, Oyo and Plateau. Away from Nigeria, ex-president Jacob Zuma returned to court on Monday for resumption of a long-running graft trial with proceedings held online in a bid to forestall another wave of the deadly unrest that swept South Africa after he was jailed in a separate case. Security forces threw a cordon around the high court in the southeastern city of Pietermaritzburg, capital of Zuma's home region of KwaZulu-Natal, where loyalists have previously gathered in rowdy shows of support. And in sports, William Saliba says he is joining one of the great French clubs in Marseille after sealing his latest loan spell away from Arsenal. The 20-year-old was signed by Gunners for 27 million euros in 2019. But Saliba is yet to make a single appearance for the Premier League club and is now beginning his third loan move away from North London. And that wraps up the news summary. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. I am Dashen Husseina Usman. Thanks for watching.